Today I'm going to do a tutorial on how to create a shrub for your saber. In this case, uh, I have a few ultra sabers initiate. Now all the emitters all look like this. In fact, all of them look like this. So rather than have all of them looking the same, so I've created shrubs which are actually basically coverings to cover the front so that each one of them look a bit different as compared to the other one okay so this is originally how they look like okay uh, when they came and for this one i've added uh, a shroud here this one has got two tone gold and uh, chrome okay it covers part of it and letting some of the windows come out so some of the light still comes out as well <clears throat> but this one and this one now looks a bit different okay so this one is a very this one is another simple one very simple shroud just uh, part of it small window here and then uh, half of these windows are still showing <clears throat> okay so you still can see some lights here and some lights here not everything is covered up <coughs> But it gives it its own personality as well. Okay. So the third one, this one is uh, another one. This is Dominic's. It's basically slightly longer than the initiate. However, the emit the emitter in front is still the same. Okay, same shape and everything. Except that this particular model has got no windows in front. Uh, so I did another shot for it. Okay, so it gives it a, a another different look altogether. Okay, so today I'm going to do a tutorial on how to do this shroud. Okay, now the first thing that you need now these shrouds here are all made of PVC. They are not made of uh, metal because uh, it's easier. I find it's much easier to work with PVC. All I need to do is to find PVC that fit exactly the size of this emitter cover over it and then cut it to shape okay so i have a piece of pvc pipe here okay and if i'm not mistaken this fits just nicely over the, the shroud just nice so this is the correct size that i want now first i gotta determine how much okay how much of the pvc i want so i need to measure and then cut it to size so maybe i want to do a simple shroud from here to about here, so there is about say three inches, or maybe even slightly less than three inches. Three inches means it will come up to about here, okay, up to here. So if I want less, maybe two and a half or two and a three quarter, so it will only protrude a little bit. If I want it to be longer, then it will be maybe about three inches. Okay, so I measure here. Let's say two and a three quarter inches. Two and a three quarter will be about here. And then after which I will cut this with a with a saw. Okay, so this is a saw. I just need to cut this to length. Okay, maybe, okay, maybe I use this one. Just something. To, so that I don't cut on my table. Okay. Okay. Now that I've cut this, okay, let me just move this away. What I have got now is this piece of uh, PVC that I need. Okay. I also need to now cut it into shape. So let's try this. This one goes all the way, okay, and uh, let's say if I put this up to here, if I want to expose part of the window, so which means I need to cut at least up to here, so which means from this part here, I need to cut all the way minimum up to, to here, so at least I will expose part of the window here, okay, so I'm going to cut this in a slanting way to make sure it comes up to there okay 
Okay, I'm just going to freehand this because I'm quite used to freehanding it. Okay, so I've cut it into this shape here. Okay, so if I put the shroud over this, okay, this is going to be how it looks like. Okay, not bad. So once I've determined, okay, the shroud is going to go here, this position here. Now there's a hole here. This is where the the set screw to hold the the set screw to hold the blade is in this part here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to make a hole here to match exactly this hole there. So I'm going to put the shroud until I'm satisfied with how the position is so okay so I think I want to expose some of the windows I want to align this uh, this hole here for the set screw with the top with the position of this shroud so that it's in the middle then uh, I'm going to mark the place okay so that I know this is where I'm going to punch the hole for the hole for the set screw Okay, so I've got a mark here already. I'm going to punch that with the uh, center punch. Okay, so I'm going to punch a hole there because that's where I'm going to drill the hole. The hole will be used to the hole will be used to to hold the shroud in place as well as when it goes through, it will also hold the blade in place as well. So for that, I'm going to need a, a thumb screw, which is a slightly longer than the normal set screw here. The set screw here is recessed, it just goes in. So for this, I need something like this. Okay, something which is long enough to go through here as well as to go through the, to go through the heel as well. So that it will hold the blade as well as the, as well as the shroud. Just now I have center punch here. Now I'm going to drill a hole. Okay, through here. That hole will be must be the same size as the size of the set screw. Okay, as you can see, I've already drilled a hole here. So this one will be the same size as for this for this uh, thumb screw here. This thumb screw will be used to to hold the shroud as well as the the blade in place. Okay. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to use a sandpaper to remove all these sharp edges. You have to smoothen the to smoothen the edges. After you have sanded all the edges and you are perfectly happy with them, that they are already smooth, there's no cutting edges. And uh, if you find that when you initially cut it it was not level, you can actually file this off to make sure that it's level. So once it's level now we can do a, a test fit. Okay? Put the here with the hole put the shroud over it until the two holes meet and then what you do is that you put the screw in okay you may want to guide the screw in a little bit first until it pass through the shroud then try to match it with the hole and then once it's in the hole then you can tighten it so once it is uh, it's tightened, you know the shroud is good to go. So, so this one seems to fit 
just nice, fit perfectly. Okay, one screw to hold both the, the blade and the shroud in place. So once you're happy with the with the shape of the shroud, now we're going to take this to the to the next step. That's to finish up the, the finish of the shroud. Okay, to finish the shroud, uh, you have uh, many different choices. One of the way is to paint it. Now to paint the shroud, you need to uh, put primer and then after that you need to put one layer of paint and wait for it to dry. Then after that you, you probably may put a new, a few layers of paint as well. And then for the paint to truly cure, you probably need about a week. That's when it will truly cure. For it to dry maybe about one day, two days then it will dry. So that is uh, too long for me. So what I want to do is uh, I will prefer to wrap it with uh, with uh, vinyl wrap. Okay. What I have here is a piece of a metallic gold uh, sticker. This is a vinyl which is used for basically for cars. Okay. So I find that these are quite hardy. So I'm going to stick this. But before this, I'm going to paint the edges because I do not want all this. Uh, gray color edges to show so I'm going to paint it with a permanent marker to blacken it you can also paint it with a silver color if you want I mean it depends on the, the color of the shroud if you're using a chrome sticker then you may want to use a silver colored paint okay so for in this case I think I I just go ahead with black and go with the gold okay this just to, to paint the edges of the to paint the edges of the shroud. Okay. Now before I stick the sticker, normally what I will do is that I will clean it with uh, some acetone. Okay, the acetone will, will remove some of the any of the dirt or impurities on the surface of the PVC so that it will stick better. Okay, just rub it with uh, some acetone to get rid of some residue, oils and these kind of things. Okay. And then now we are good to go. Okay, I've cut, I've already cut the this piece of uh, sticker to size. So I'm just going to stick it on this now. So I'm going to stick from one end here. And very gent very slowly stick it. Okay, make sure you push up so that there's no air bubbles or anything inside. Okay. and it's stuck properly okay once you have done that you need to trim off the excess of the stickers okay I'm just going to cut this up Exacto knife to trim the edges so that it is uh, nice and close to the edges there. Okay, you want to take your time to do this slowly so that you get a good result. Of 
course a, a very sharp knife will help you give you a, a nicer edge uh. okay. so once you think that everything is nice you can move on to the other side and trim out the other edges So there basically we have it on this side. Okay, I'm gonna punch the hole here as well, take out the hole. Okay. And with the excess piece of gold here, I'm gonna stick this on the inside of the shroud. Okay, so that is just out on the outside, so this is on the inside. Same thing, cut out the excess. Okay, and trim the excess with the exacto knife as well. Okay, and if you have some areas of grey which is not covered properly by the sticker, you can also uh, touch that up with your black colour permanent marker as well. Okay. okay, so there you have it. We have a shroud already. Okay, a small simple piece and now we're going to test this we're going to fit this over the emitter here and we're going to screw this in oh, let me cut the hole first huh? we've got to cut the hole okay we're going to cut the hole Put the shroud over the emitter and then screw. Uh, finally, found the hole. Okay, so now we just screw this in. Now we have a shrub. Okay, so that's uh, how you do a shrub. A very quick and simple way to change the look of your saber so that uh, so that it gives you a different look from the original. Okay. So of course if you want to, you know, you can also cut a hole here using your Dremel, okay, to give the light to shine through. Okay. This one, I cut it without the, the hole there, okay, because I just want to keep this tutorial short. Uh, you can also cut the, the hole across here like this. This will give you, uh, you know, the star killer, the, the force unleash game, the saber, the kind of look, okay. 
of course you don't just have to do this shape you can even take it further you can do a, a bit more adventurous you know with the pointed uh, claws here like that in front you know with the claws in front you can even drill holes you know to show the internals so that you have a contrast between the outside and the inside okay and of course you can also leave some holes so that uh, the light can shine through instead of being blocked by the blocked by the shroud okay and in this case i've also cut a big hole here to to show off the window there as well okay so there is actually no limit to what you can do it's just a matter of your creativity and uh, doing uh, more projects than you get familiar with it and of course trying different different stuff something like this is very fast okay it doesn't take very long to do something like this uh, may take a bit longer because this one has got different layers of uh, sticker uh, this one take almost uh, a day to do this because you need to measure everything properly and then cut okay i hope you have uh, you have learned something from this uh, short tutorial thank you